What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we are getting into the best cases and accessories for this little baby boy, the iPhone 13 mini. And obviously these are based on my personal opinions, the things that I found that were available right now, and I'm excited to show them to you. And look at this pink color. I had to get, I had to get the pink, the pink iPhone 13 mini. I personally, I love, uh, the mini version of the iPhone. I've been using the iPhone 12 mini and it's been fantastic. It just, it simplifies my life. And if you wanna see my gear later review on the iPhone 12 mini, I will link that down below in the description for you. But we got this guy right here, this little baby boy, and I got a bunch of cases to show you and accessories, so let's get into it. All right, so first up, we have some cases from Taurus and I love this company because it's just really affordable stuff on Amazon, like super cheap for cases and it's good quality. And well, the first thing we're checking out here, this is a very simple case. It is just your run of the mill, uh, clear TPU case. But you know what? When you got a colored iPhone, or at least I should say a color you would like to show off, this kind of works out good for it. And again, there's really nothing special about these clear TPU cases. They are a dime a dozen, but Taurus, they make some pretty legit cases and I like supporting the brand because they just, they make good stuff. It's on Amazon Prime, like uh, you're gonna, you know, you can't really go wrong there. But um, like I said, this is a pretty simple case. Not much else to see here. Uh, nice raised lip for everything. And uh, it all looks pretty fantastic. It's even got uh, some little, edges here that might help protect a little bit of drop protection there. Uh, it, it kind of grazes the edge on the inside of the case. It's kind of hard to explain. But that being said, my favorite case from Taurus is coming up next. And that is this beautiful baby right here. This is like a smoky black case, as you can see here. Looks really, really sleek. And this one is special because you can replace the buttons. You can swap out the buttons on this case. It comes with extra buttons, you guys, extra buttons. So I can put like the pink with the yellow or the red or whatever. Let's go ahead and put this case on though real quick. I'm not gonna change the buttons for you right now, but you can see here, like, look at how clean this looks. And mind you, the feeling on this case is like, it's like it got a rubbery texture. So it just feels really, smooth, I don't know how to describe it. It's not slippery, it's grippy and smooth. And this just looks, look at that, pink and black. Like how can you go wrong with that combo? And having the replaceable buttons here, pretty cool as well. Uh, very inexpensive cases. And I like what they are doing with this box. Like that just, it just looks nice. Anyway, this is Taurus Cases. I will link anything I discuss in this video down below in the description for you, uh, so you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. But again, I love Taurus. They're pretty cool, but let's move on to the next thing. Coming up next, we have the Apple Cases. Yes, this, my friends, is the iPhone 13 mini leather case with MagSafe, obviously. Uh, the Taurus Cases I mentioned don't have MagSafe. That's not a real big deal. I will explain that to you a little bit later in this video, but um, this guy right here is a freaking whopping $59. And this is what you get. You get uh, multiple different colors, obviously. Uh, we get metal buttons. Uh, we have the little MagSafe circle there. And I mean, it's form fitting. Obviously it's made by Apple. So let's just go ahead and pop that guy in there. I do think this color combo looks fresh though. Pink and purple. Just both really nice. It feels like it's Easter up in here or something. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, the Apple cases, obviously they're good. You know, there's nothing wrong with them. They're, they're pretty great cases. They're just really expensive. And like, that's basically what it comes down to. Do you wanna pay $60 for a case when you can get a very much equivalent case to this for less than half the price? That's what it comes down to. Now, mind you, I wanted to point this out. Here, I have a couple of iPhone 12 mini cases. Look at how that lines up on the box right there. Anyway, these are iPhone 12 mini cases and you will be saddened to know that they do not fit on the 13 mini because the camera cutout is different and slightly shifted. So if we put this on here, see how that fits? You see, it's got like a little gap right there. I mean, technically it, 
kind of fits. Look at it. That won't push down because the camera bump is way up here. It's pushing the case off. So you can't use, unfortunately, your, any of your 12 mini cases, garbage. You can't use them anymore on the 13 mini, which is just sad and unfortunate. And, it, and in my opinion, I mean, I know they made the camera sensors different, blah, 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 whatever. And they really could have made it fit if they tried. So I, I don't know, whatever, but let's move on to the next case. Real quick, I wanna sidestep to charging because charging your phone is important, arguably, right? Um, and I talked about this in my video where I took a look at the best cases and accessories for the iPhone 13 Pro. So if you haven't caught that and you have one of those, link down below for you. But we have a few different charging blocks here, right? We have Apple's 20 watt charging block. We have one from Spigen that's also 20 watt. And then we have this chunky boy right here, which I'll explain in a minute. Now, I just don't think there's any reason for you to buy this 20 watt charging block from Apple because I think, I think it's $30. I'm not 100% sure, but regardless of what it is, this little Spigen one right here is $10. Actually, I think the uh, Apple one is $20. This is half the price and it's literally like half the volume in size. And I mean, come on, foldable. Let's just put it down to this. Would you choose foldable prongs or non-foldable prongs? Easy choice, right? This is a pretty good charger uh, for your iPhone. 20 watt charger right there from Spigen. And then we also have this guy is one of my favorite chargers, which also, the prongs fold down. This is a 45 watt charger. This will charge your iPhone quickly. This will charge your MacBook. It'll charge an iPad. It'll charge any USB type C laptop pretty much. Um, and it's, I mean, look it. It's a small portable little block. Like how can you go wrong with this thing, right? You really can't. So I think that having a case with MagSafe isn't that important unless two things, you're using some really cool MagSafe accessories or you really, really, really wanna charge with MagSafe and not have to worry about it falling off because there are some good options for MagSafe charging uh, such as this guy right here. Um, and this is ESR's um, Holo wireless, oh, sorry, Halo wireless charging uh, with kickstand. Look at this, it's, it's, a, it's a little puck, Halo lock click kickstand. And this thing is pretty cool. It's got a kickstand on it, which is nice, but it's also like a MagSafe charger. And this thing just takes a USB type C cable on the side. It actually comes with that cable as well. Takes it on the side there and look at this, just boom, right on your phone, just like that. Just fits right on your phone. Now, obviously it's stronger if you're using a case that has MagSafe integrated it'll stay on much better and it'll hold its little magnetic thing right there. And look at that. You can just pop your phone up like a kickstand, like really pretty simple. I'm not a huge MagSafe guy um, simply because they just take a little bit to charge, right? It just, it takes a little bit longer. I mean, maybe it's not that much longer, but I would much prefer uh, this Anchor Nano 2, which I forgot to mention the name of it earlier. This is the Anchor Nano 2. I just think I called it like a chunky boy or something. Um, but yeah, 45 watts. This is 40 bucks. This is 10 bucks, I believe. And I think Apple's is 20 bucks, somewhere between 20 and 30, don't quote me. But that being said, I, I think that there are clear winners here and there are clear losers. And I think that the best two that you can go with are these, especially if you wanna charge your iPhone as fast as possible. And this one, if you wanna charge everything else along with your iPhone. Easy, easy done, easily put. Uh, let's move on to the next stuff. All right, so I know I mentioned ESR just a little bit ago with that uh, Halo uh, wireless charging puck uh, with the kickstand, but they also have a case and screen protector set that you can pick up, uh, which is pretty nice to have both of those in one here. And if we just go ahead and pop this open here, I'll just show you what it's all about. Um, I haven't actually installed the screen protector yet, but it all comes laid out really nicely. Now, mind you, this case isn't anything to write home about. I've already taken a brief look at it. It's just literally one of those clear TPU cases. It's got ESR on the side of it, which is cool, um, but it's, it's 
very close and very similar to the one that we took a look at from Taurus. Um, but you do get that, you get a little kickstand in here as well. And you get a screen protector that has its own little way to install it, which I think is pretty cool in my opinion. I love it that all these screen protector companies are putting in ways to install it yourself. And look at that, you get not one, but two screen protectors inside of here in case you're screwing up, because let's be honest here, that shit ain't easy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I'm not gonna install the screen protector right now because I do want to show you a few other cases here. Uh, but I think that this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good value here. I mean, you get kind of everything that you need in one little box to protect your phone. How can you go wrong? Next up, I have some cases here from Raptic and Raptic, they make some pretty rugged cases. They're known for the Raptic shield. Um, and obviously I've covered this before previous years, but look at that case. That is a beautiful looking case, mind you. And you can feel inside of it, it's got metal around the rim, which I do have one right here actually uh, outside of the box. The Raptic Shield, this is kind of, I think it's the best balance between being rugged and being not a freaking brick on the side of your face. That's just my opinion though. But let's go ahead and put this on here. I like the Raptic stuff um, because like I said, it's just, it's, it's thin and it's kind of, unintrusive to your life. Like I hate those thick cases that just f literally feel like I have a tiny little person like wobbling their hands around inside of my pocket. <laughs> if I, that made no sense, but you go with it. Let's just go with it. So this is the Raptic Shield. And again, like I said, we have metal around the rim here uh, to reinforce any drops. Uh, we have some really thick, nice corners right there, double C thick. And then we have some nice buttons that are covered with little dots instead of like protruding buttons, which I kind of like. And we have the same thing on the other side. Now, of course, we have nice openings here for the charging and the speakers and everything is just pretty easy going. These buttons too are pretty easy to click. They're pretty tactile. I mean, you can feel the button click up and down. And this is a very rugged case. I trust dropping my phone in this case because uh, I said it in the other video, I've dropped my phone in a Raptic case a couple of times maybe, and uh, it's been fine. So this is a good option if you're looking for an inexpensive rugged case that isn't going to be a huge brick in your pocket. Um, but they do also have some uh, lighter variants. Now this is kind of just a uh, mushy like TPU case, but it has better reinforcements than some of the other TPU cases that I've shown you thus far. And you can see that in the corners here, um, you can see this little like ribbed edge. Uh, we have that kind of all the way around too, uh, to reinforce against drops and everything like that. And you can even see how the corners just stick up a tiny bit. It's going to be better <laughs> than dropping your phone without those because it's just I don't know, it's it's just thicker and it's gonna provide more protection. Outside of that, nothing else super special about this. Uh, we do have the rim that kind of goes above uh, the camera lenses right there, um, but it's your TPU case and they have it in other colors as well. This is like a gray color as well as the Raptic Shield like I showed you just a little bit ago. Uh, we have it this in other colors. Also, I'll leave links to all these uh, down in the description for you. But Raptic, they make some good cases that are gonna protect your phone and, and not be like, you know, this thick, you know, you know what I mean? Cause I just, I personally can't handle that. Now let's talk about the opposite end of Raptic, like the far opposite end. This is totally, and they make the thinnest cases that you can get for your phone. I mean, this is, I feel like I could tear this in half. Like I could just Hulk right through this case um, because it is just so thin. And zero drop protection here. Zero, absolutely none. It's laughable how little drop protection there is here, but scratch protection for sure. And if you're a minimalist and you don't drop your phone, this is a good option. Look at that. Like it just feels like I'm holding the iPhone 13. It doesn't even feel like I have a case on it other than the plastic feel, but it's got a very thin rim that doesn't take up any more space on your phone than the actual edge of the metal right there. It just, 
it keeps the form factor adding very minimal bulk and it does have a raised edge for the camera so you don't have to worry about dropping uh, or setting it down and scratching things up it's going to kind of protect that like i said no drop protection here uh, we do have another color as well there are actually many colors of these total lee cases which you can find uh, using the link down in the description i really do like this frosty clear one because it gives it that frosted glass look like you have on the pros which I think is cool. I mean, they make some some great stuff. I really can't complain about any of their stuff. It's, it's affordable. It's pretty legit, what can I say? Next up, we have some glass screen protectors. I ordered uh, two different sets of these, ones for the iPhone 13 Pro and one for my 13 mini. This is a two pack of glass screen protectors from AM Film and it, it comes in a two pack. I think they also have a three pack as well, but this is like $10, $11 maybe. And you get an applicator and you get a little bag of uh, goodies that you can use to clean off your screen with. Let's go ahead and take that out here. Uh, we have a microfiber cloth. I mean, you get everything that you need uh, to put on this screen protector and it is super easy with these darn applicators. I freaking love them. Let me go ahead and clean off the screen real quick. Wipe it down a little bit, give it a little bath and then we're all good to go. Now, if you have any dust, uh, we do have little dust collection stickers. I love how it says dust collection on it. Kind of scoop up any little pieces of dust. Now, once you're all set on that front, uh, we're just gonna pull off this back part right here. It should just snap on there, boom. And then all you do is just press down on both ends. We had the screen light up there, but it's actually applying itself to the phone. Like the screen, look at, look at how it's moving inward. Of the screen protector just applying itself. And then all you do is put your thumb on here and just pull up squeeze out the bubbles here. It is a very beautiful thing when you can install a screen protector perfectly with zero effort. Like, that's why I like this applicator right here. The one that I, I had with the ESR case is cool, but this one just takes the cake for me because it, it just works so easily. Like, I, I cannot praise this screen protector pack enough. I literally put it on all of my phones. It's, it's just great. Finally, I know I talked about these before in previous videos and in the iPhone 13 Pro video that I did, but hands down, if you want some of the best headphones that you can get for the money, I know it's expensive, but the AirPods Max, they are just fantastic. They're well built. They're, yes, they're $500, scary freaking number, but I, they're, for what they offer and the sound quality here, they are they are definitely best in class. Now, that's not to say that you shouldn't pick yourself up some AirPods Pro, which I have right here, or just regular AirPods, or even the Samsung Galaxy Buds, the, the first ones. Those are fantastic, in my opinion, and they work great. There's an iOS app for them. Everything is, is great on there. The, they have uh, active noise cancellation, just like both of these, and you really can't go wrong. Uh, I don't know why I have a cable sitting here, but we don't need that right now. Um, I think though, all of these cases and accessories, they're some of my favorites, my top picks, some of the best that are available right now for the iPhone 13 mini. And I am just happy uh, with a mini phone for another year. I just, I really like the, the, it, there's something about having a small phone that really keeps you out of all the nonsense, just staring at like a big screen. This is just my opinion, but I like, I like the smaller screens. I just do. So that being said, uh, let me know which of these are your favorite down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new around here, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can see my review on this little guy right here and the iPhone 13 Pro coming out very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, and drop a comment below. Let me know your favorite. If you're looking for a case uh, for the 12, or for the 13 mini, for the 13 Pro, for the iPhone 13, I'll be sending some out to people uh, down in the comment section. So go ahead, do that, drop a like. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. Once again, this is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.